in folklore, there are a lot of songs that reference each other or lyrical parallels. And one of the ones that I like is, is the entire song, This Is Me Trying, then being referenced again in Mirrorball, which is, I've never been a natural, all I do is try. Yeah, I remember that being an interesting one for you to actually put down. And I think um, with Mirrorball, sometimes when I'm writing to an instrumental track, I'll push play and I'll immediately see a scene set. And I just was thinking, okay, so we have mirror balls in the middle of a dance floor because they reflect light. They are broken a million times and that's what makes them so shiny. We have people like that in society too. They hang there and every time they break, it entertains us. Yeah. And, and when, you, when you shine a light on them, it's this glittering, fantastic thing. But then a lot of the time when the spotlight isn't on them, they're just, they're just still there up on a pedestal but nobody's watching them. Well, it's a myth we love, and then we create it for people. Yeah, it's it's the whole like the, do the broken thing, do make the it fun, thing. now make it sad. Yeah, now but, make it cool, now make it sad. Yeah, but when the lights <laughs> off, be okay. Yeah, it was it was a metaphor for celebrity, but it's also a metaphor for so many people who have to feel like I mean, everybody has feels like they have to be on for certain people. For you have to be different versions of yourself for different people, different versions at work, different versions around friends, different versions of yourself around different friends, um, different version of yourself around family, around, yeah. you know, you just, everybody has to be duplicitous um, or, or feels that they have to, in some ways, be duplicitous. And that's part of the human experience, but it's also exhausting. And you kind of learn that every one of us has the ability to become a shapeshifter. Totally. But what does that do to us? And it also is the first time, and, and one of the only times that, that the time that we're living through was actually lyrically addressed. Mm. Um, I think that, you know, the pandemic and lockdown and all that w runs through this album like a thread because it's an album that allows you to feel your feelings and it's a product of isolation. And it's a product of all this, you know, rumination on, on what, what we are as humans, blah, blah, blah. But this is the first time in the bridge saying they called off the circus, burned the disco down when yeah. they sent home the horses and the rodeo clowns. I wrote this song right after I found out all my shows were canceled. And it's like, I'm still on that tightrope. I'm still trying everything to keep you, to get you laughing at me. So yeah. it's like, I realized here I am writing all this music, st still trying. And I know I have an excuse to sit back and not do something, but, I, but I'm not. And I can't, and I don't know yeah, why don't that get is. It. But that's what makes it to me a great piece of pandemic time work is that it's not about the pandemic, it's about the experience of what happens to an artist when you're living through a pandemic. Yeah.